Hey guys, what's going on? Sherrod Norman from I'm right into it. I've done a couple documentaries before um, here on YouTube recently that have been um, covered by um, a, a reporters at um, BeforeIt'sNews.com. Um, saw in the skies of Millville, New Jersey. Um, Mill, well, I should say Cumberland County, New Jersey, Millville of Ireland, Bridgeton area of New Jersey. Completely amazing. I got video for you guys. I have pictures for you guys. But I, I was doing some research on that stuff, and you know, I, all in all, I'm, I'm back to this now. And I, I want to talk about this. This is a big thing. We are talking about the company that is in all of our cell phones. We're talking about the company that has all of us networked right now. They are literally buying massive amounts of drones. Now, the reason why these drones are being bought, um, I'll leave these articles um, down low for you guys. I'm not going to sit here and read through all of these articles, but I will tell you this: they get high, they're unmanned. You know, um, so if you have an un an unmanned vehicle, you don't have to worry about the altitudes that you know humans would have a hard time being that they don't have to really worry about how high they go with these drones because there's no one really shaping up to be that now but I mean we're talking in massive amounts their plan is to blanket the United States actually to blanket the world in drones which is the new weapon of surveillance they want to blanket the world in drones um, to help out crops to are not good or accurate in calculating these things which they should be because they're both very uh, Google Maps is a very very accurate um, program it has does have its glitches but I mean it's it's pretty pretty good um, these drones are still this faulty technology I mean we have these guys over here literally um, you know they're they're not they're not hitting everything that they want to hit when they use them in a military application. So to let you know that if they're killing innocent civilians with drones overseas, and now you know the government just recently passed something where they don't have to report the um, the deaths overseas any longer. It's not an obligation of our government to report what they're doing with the drones overseas any longer. The president can issue an executive decision to use a drone, and it will never be reported to us. So. Right now, you know, they're using these drones and they're out there, they're hurting people, I mean, pretty bad, and um, all in the name of um, keeping us safe. I call anything that's a third world country right now the testing grounds for what's going to happen to us. That's honestly what I call it. So I'm looking at these programs now and I'm getting a little bit concerned. As most of you know, I am prior military. I'm an information systems analyst um, with a secret clearance, well, ex-secret clearance, um, I worked underneath um, General Abrams, who was a three-star, I believe he got promoted to a four-star when I was there. Um, it was, you know, I've, I've been in the application of the government and the military and um, behind the the veil, if you will. So I, I know what goes on. I was one of the first people in the military to actually have a um, an ID card with a computer chip in it. So, it, you know, it was deployed at our base where we were at Tradoc headquarters in Fort Monroe, Virginia, and uh, I was one of the first people to actually, um, you know, make it for the active duty personnel at our post, and make those IDs for people, so of course I made myself some, but, um, you, or made myself one, I should say, I didn't make myself a whole bunch of IDs, they kept track of those, but I made myself one, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, guys, I know what I'm talking about when I say that these technologies are a lot further than they're letting us uh, know or letting us believe. I want to keep this video short. I want to keep it sweet. I want to let you know this is something that you need to start researching. There's something going on with um, the corporation and they're in bed with the government right now. They are deeply in bed with the government. Corporations and government go hand in hand. Incorporations hand in hand. So, what makes you think that the government is not working with the entities that are incorporated? It doesn't make sense if they don't work with them. These uh, multinational global corporations work with the U.S. military, with the U.S. government. You need to know that. Okay? So, it, it, this is not something that's made up. This is not something that's science fiction. This is something that's fact. This is fact, people wake up some of these people that that are uh, with your congress or your house of representatives they have 
interest in some of these companies. They own stocks in these companies. They, they're heavily invested in these companies. They receive payouts from these companies for political endorsements. So please believe that they are in bed together when it comes to information. Information is king. You have to remember that information is king. When you're talking about the rule of power, they're looking to, to find out who has the most information because he who has the most information can use it against the others. So as of right now, we have the most information. Um, I, I, I guess we do. I'm just gonna say we have the you know, supposedly we have the most information. Behind us would probably be China. I personally think that China, China has more information than us, but they're just a lot smaller and have a big fear of getting wiped off of the map if they mess up any more attempts to try to, to attack the United States. They've tried a couple times to attack us. Um, I believe it was China. I don't want to get that wrong. Um, I, I have to go back and look, but I, I don't want to just you know speculate. But we've been attacked from the Asian side, from the Asian community before, uh, by these air balloons and you know stuff like that. So uh, to believe that we would not be attacked on the West Coast or even the East Coast again, because they're setting up uh, right now, and um, the uh, Chinese are setting up camps and, uh, and buying up land in Northern Africa. Not only are they buying up land in Northern Africa, they're buying up land in the United States. They just bought, um, uh, what is that, the Chase Manhattan building in New York? I believe it was a $2.5 million building they bought for $700 million. That was all about a bank bill that, you know, some money was owed um, to the Chinese people. So, you know, they, they got it for a discount price. But at the same token, look at the positioning of that building and where it is in New York. And you tell me what their um stake is here on, on the um on the uh, for the american economy and why they're buying up uh, literally uh millions millions of dollars of real estate uh, real estate all across the united states so we have our tech companies buying up the sky they're in bed with the government we have the chinese buying up the land they're really not in bed with the government in a sense of uh, incorporated uh, corporations and um and um in money. They're in bed, but uh, their ideology and their principles and you know their philosophies are fundamentally different on every level. So they will love nothing more than to be number one power in the world. Now we are creating this drone society. Um, my thoughts are to really pass on to another country. Uh, for our surveillance and for our monitoring under the new world rule where this is um this is not in any kind of way going to help american civilians and to help our lives not at all or else they would already be talking about it this would be a big project but because of the secrecy uh, you know regarding this project you have to kind of put it together yourself look i'm going to put together a, a key link for you okay people i'm just going to put together a key link two key links actually just to show you that drones are not just for um crop deforestation or anything like that i'm going to drop a link here to let you know to let you see a, a one article that's on uh vice.com motherboard.vice.com um flying a drone with google glass is like being a bird this is a great article, and I believe it comes with a good video. Yeah, it comes with a great video in it. Um, they call it glass kinesis. Just to show you how this technology is being implemented right now as far as Google Glasses and drones are concerned. So there you have your connection in Google Glasses and drones. Now, that's one connection, but I promised you too. So here's your other connection, all right? Going back to what I really did in the beginning to expose how the government is working with Proteus and Avery Dennison um, in the development of the new RFID um, application for humans. So let's go now to uh, to what's going on in, um, in Europe right now. We're using drones to keep track of cattle, okay, with RFID technologies. Now, Together with producers of long-range RFID tags detectable by a drone, H.C. Anderson Airport last week tested a newly developed quadrocopter drone with four propellers that can be used for watching castles. I'm sure it meant cattle. And 
it more than lived up to expectations. Now, you know, even though that's a mistake right there as far as uh, it's supposed to be cattle, I'm sure, you know, uh, you can actually apply that even though it's a mistake. I know it's a mistake, so don't beat me up, guys. But this castles can easily, I mean, cattles can easily turn into castles, like like the different nations. So if, if you're thinking, you know, that they're not thinking about putting RFID tags into biological elements and watching them from unmanned vehicles, here is your proof in your face that it's happening in Europe. They're going to be bringing it up at a conference on, uh, uh, I believe, May 26th through May 28th for um, a robo, what is this, the premier business development event for the global robotics industry. So they have a robotics industry meeting that's, you know, a global meeting that they'll be bringing up, you know, these uh, these results of what they came up with here to, um, to actually watch these cattle via a, a drone. So, you know, I, I'm going to end it on that, guys. The, the proof is in the pudding. The information is here. I'm going to drop all the links that you see here um, so you can get yourself up to speed as far as what's going on. Why is our government and these corporations, because you cannot say that Google does not, you cannot say, it, there's no possible way that you could say that Google and the government are not in bed with each other, okay? that That's just, it's unheard of. To think that, to think that, um, to think that the government is spying on us and tapping all of our phone calls and all of our transmissions without the cooperation of large corporations like Google um, and other corporations, of course, that would be just, uh, that, that, that would just, you just shouldn't do that, okay? You should know that where the dollars are is where the government is. Google is a, bill, a multi-billion dollar company, really a multi-billion dollar industry in itself. So where the dollars are is where the government is. Maybe it didn't grow out that way in the beginning, but trust me, as time has went on, it is definitely that way. So you have to ask yourself, what's going on? We have um, Google buying up a, mil a military drone company, a military drone that lets you know the, the advanced capabilities of the drone system. I mean, I'm sure there's secrets of it that they have not re released to the public yet. You don't let all the cats out the bag. So we have a military drone company, Google, um, our government, all tied in together, RFID technology. There's a global conference this month in the EU, it, well, in Europe, um, you know, overlooking how drones are effectively handling the RFID tagging of biological elements. In this case, it's cattle. The next question that we have to ask is, when is it going to be humans? Here's your link, guys. All right, Sherrod Norman, who is sincere.com. Uh, make sure you visit my other website, too, secretnewworld.com. We have a, um, a weak economy as far as the dollar is concerned. I have a way to help people... Um, and get the most out of what we have left in this economy while while uh, still helping them to build for the new economy that's um, inevitably going to come. It's going to happen. Um, where your positioning is in this current economy is going to determine where you land your feet in the new economy. So get yourself prepared. Make sure you visit these websites. Make sure you do some further education on yourself as far as these drones are concerned and RFID technology. I will drop a link in my um, video here to show you also the um, uh, to to show you also the first series that I did for the RFID technology with Proteus and Avery Dennison and um, and our government. So God bless you guys. Take care. Um, keep your heads up. Stay in prayer. Don't be scared. This is not fear mongering, but this is empowerment. This is, knowledge is knowledge is power. If you take this knowledge and apply it to your life, you can get yourself prepared to figure out what you can do to not fall into these traps, what you can do to not fall into these circumstances, and, and your eyes will be open to see, all right? Don't think that everybody is building everything for you. It doesn't happen that way, all right?
Stay alert, stay alive.